What's up, everyone? Welcome to the number one podcast on Monday nights at 6 p.m. Central Time, twitch.tv forward slash Hogtide Productions. Uh, this is Game Scrubs. I'm one of your hosts, Cal. Joining me, as always, as per usual, Jake. Jake, how you doing? I'm fantastic. I have had a very chill Monday. Just uh, went and got my oil changed, so that was excite- as exciting as it got. Made some pizza rolls. Meant to send a pick into the food chat to get that good flux going, but just totally forgot. How about you? How, hey. how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Could have stood to win a couple more, get a, to acquire some more dubs in uh, Overwatch today, but, uh, you know, you can't win them all. Uh, I decided to let all the other uh, mortals in the game have, you know, their fun. You, you know, um, you can't win them all. You can't win some. Sometimes you can't win. But that's just how it be. Yeah. I mean, when... If I don't... If I do not... Um, play the point... Then nobody does. <laughs> they they want to follow the leader, Jake. Uh, and you're the obvious leader. They, and we want strong leaders, okay? Got them right, right No here. stronger leaders. Right above me. Then, hey, right here. <laughs> I'm on top for a lot of things, frankly. Uh, but one thing I will say is that this number one podcast um, reviews the top gaming news of the week. People, <laughs> I slip back. I was gonna say people, people, people who know tops and like tops say I'm the best top. That's just how it is. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, what are we? We are, uh, this is our podcast where we review the week in gaming news, so to speak. Uh, and quite frankly, it's been rough for you diamond handed mofos out there. Um, cause GameStop, the big craze blew up by, I don't even know the official number of percentage. It fell by fell by over 50 percent on tuesday yeah it's it's tough but uh oh Oh. we'll get there um so the verge is trying to say that the latest stock dip looks like the end of the line um i would i myself would argue that that's debatable um however uh it is about where uh it was before the gigantic spikes um of like the 27th through the 28th yep that said just because we're there does not necessarily mean there isn't going to be another squeeze exactly um there's been a lot of talk lately about short uh uh, uh, the short income in, or the short interest. Yep. Uh, and the number of outstanding uh, st- stocks out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and frankly, uh, there's plenty still to go. Yeah. Uh, but I think the problem as far as v- raising the value right now mm-hmm. for GameStop is that. Uh, what they did was essentially they doubled down mm-hmm. on the same stocks. They borrowed them again, even though they still didn't have them, which is naked shorting. Should be illegal. Whatever. What they did was they borrowed against their borrowing to do a short at $400. Yep. So essentially they they sell the stock at $400 or whatever around there. Mm-hmm. And then they guarantee that in like three or four days... You know, because it was so volatile, you can sell it at sixty-five bucks. Yep. Or you can buy it back at sixty-five bucks, and then you're pocketing. Oof! Good chunk of change. Two hundred and two hundred and forty bucks. No, yeah. three hundred and forty bucks, ish. Yeah. Three hundred thirty-five. Yeah. So that's that's and that's per share. So if you just scale that up by about 10,000 or so you can really uh 
you, you can really make some change uh, by shorting it when it was at its peak like that. Exactly. Um, there's still people that will say it's possible, and I, I do think it's possible. Yeah, but oh, definitely. Right now, um, it has been... It has not gone up very much whatsoever. Exactly. It is on the decline at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. Give it time, though. Bounce right back, like you were just saying. Yeah. Um, A lot of stuff bouncing back lately, it turns out. Uh, Yeah. EA is bringing back college football games, but without college players. What do you think of this? We can't let those college kids have a fucking dime. Nope. Why would we want that? Dude, we hate that. We don't like them making any money from their likeness. I don't see why it can't just be like a blanket deal. All all teams, all like, uh, just work with the NCAA and say, okay, how many players per team are there? Okay. Uh, each player will get this much money from yep. NCAA. Yep. You know, I'm sure it doesn't have to be a lot. Let's no, be honest. It really doesn't. As long as they're paid somewhat for their likeness. All that's that, all that matters. All that matters to me is that Bo- the Boise State uh, Stadium is accurate. That's all that fucking matters to me. Blue turf. You know it, baby. Me, you know, playing as the Hawks against, who knows, I don't know, Wisconsin maybe, but at Boise State. <laughs> Just because. Gotta have that blue turf. Or, uh, uh, also gotta make sure that the Western Kentucky field is accurate as well that's the red turf hell yes which is just honestly it's it's hard on the eyes it really is um but i i'm hey. so excited for this man this was ncaa is so so much better than madden yeah but that's so, a fact man those those great lateral plays you can run just like Train and uh, I don't know. I just feel like even re- doing a custom character is so much better. Was so much better in those games than that ever was in Madden. Yeah. It, the training systems, I think, like you just said, it's extremely good in, in CAA, or what? at least from what I remember. I don't know. It's been God. It's been so long ago, dude. My most recent NCAA game is from two thousand four. So been a hot minute i would have have vince vince young on the cover shit (laughs) right i had uh this running back named troy that was eight feet tall (laughs) and like 400 pounds he would only run like five yards at a time (laughs) it would take four dudes to take him down (laughs) so if you get on like the one if you need a one yard conversion you just put him in (laughs) it's going in and yeah, it's true. NCAA what 2013 was the last one. Yeah, that was 14. Going for, 14? It was going for like 200 something bucks. Wow. Yeah, right. Every other fucking sports game costs like five dollars the next year, but then that one because it was the last one. Whew, so good. So I I got a uh, Vizio TV for the first time in my sophomore year in college. Hell yes. And. It was HD, baby, 720p. And I was like, oh, oh, my God, that is hot. That 720p quality, that is so nice, right? And I uh, uh, I got um, the special cables, Mm -hmm. the additional, like, pins to put in for my 360, and I booted up uh, NCAA 07, I think. God, what a flex. And uh, I just remember thinking, oh, my God, this is just it's as if I'm playing in reality. Like, these are just (laughs) real players. This looks so good. Me playing Mario Galaxy on standard. (laughs) Just like, this is perfection. Where do we go from here? Yeah. yeah. (laughs) It looks so. Uh, Yeah. I love all those memes that are like me playing my PS1. It's like, Dad, it's so realistic. And it's like a polygon with a face drawn on it. Oh my god. Yeah. Looking back, uh, even just looking at this initial photo with the article, it's just like... Yeah. Yelp. 
Dude, I am so pumped. This can't get here soon enough. I uh, am pretty excited for next year's NCAA game. It's been too long. Here's the thing is, if it's in early stages of development, does that mean it'll come back next year? I think it's coming out next year. I think it's going to be 2022. 100 teams, including stadiums, mascots, and uniforms used by these institutions. Here's the thing is, all right, so there's there's a lot of different things I like uh, that distinguish college football from professional football. College football, it's definitely about the atmosphere. Yes. And like, holy fuck, each stadium has its own tradition, its own unique stuff. Yep. Right? Yep. Like, I, I, that is what I love about college football. Mm-hmm. Uh, with professional football, I love uh, st- kind of the stats and uh, honestly, like seeing uh, the different professional scenarios play out, like Antonio Brown with the Steelers situation, right? Yeah. Or like uh, Cam Newton trying to hold New England together. God. Watching Bill Belichick try not to blame him for everything <laughs> right we trust our quarterback calls up uh, jimmy g we uh need to throw the ball better i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that's just you know and then of course uh one thing i i will say the super bowl I mean, the, so for those who don't know, the Super Bowl uh, happened this weekend. Wow, uh, <laughs> stunner! Wow. That's that's about what I got. Is wow, like, wow! I just gotta say, uh, Tom Brady kid, Tom Brady's kid looks super cute in a turtleneck. Don't know why he was wearing one, but it's cute as hell. Oh, he wanted to roll it up further, <laughs> make it a whole, <laughs> make Please. it a turtle shell. <laughs> Dad, no! Uh, <laughs> you're getting my shirt wet. Dude, that, that top comment on that tweet I sent you. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tom Brady. God, God, that, another great thing about the NCAA games. No Tom Brady. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, although I... Uh, I don't actually, you know, I don't remember if this was in the ESPN game or if it was uh, college football, but there was like a feature I remember in an old like 05, 06 game uh, where you could replay historical moments. And that, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it was the uh, ESPN NFL game. Yep. And uh, there was like the drive. Uh, with Broncos in LA, which uh, my drive was pretty fucking fast. It was 13 seconds long. God. Uh, let's see. What else? I don't know. There, there were a bunch of different... The, the catch, immaculate uh, reception, shit like that. Yeah. I, and then if you did it all, you got like a trophy or some shit. That's awesome. So... Yeah. Pumped to sit down and play those again. Play this game. Definitely. You know what I don't get to play, though? (laughs) (laughs) Terraria on Stadia. This is a wild story, really. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Spinks. Um, You know, he's a developer for Terraria and basically said, no, it's canceled. (laughs) We're not Uh, doing it. And he basically, according to Google, they they sent him a thing saying that he violated the terms of service. But how? Uh, and well, I want to know what he's doing. He's, he has no idea why, which means, of course, we're not gonna know why. Yup. It's funny because it's like, uh, like you have to go so far to, like, really mess up your terms of service with Google. Like, so it. Obvious. I don't believe that he had anything to do with it, personally. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. And then, uh, 
not much. Well, this comes after uh, Terraria itself, uh, their official uh, Twitter account, I guess. Yelp. Was talking about how they couldn't get their YouTuber Gmail account going. That's ridiculous. Uh, back on the 26th of January. So. This appears uh, to be a long standing uh, problem. Like, yeah, sounds like Google just is not working out for Andrew Spinks or the rest of the team with behind Terraria. I know people who enjoy Terraria would be pumped if they had a Stadia. Like, the crossover there, I feel like, would be really high. I mean, just sitting around playing Terraria wherever. Awesome. Sucks yeah, for Stadia that they couldn't get it worked out. Just another game you won't see there. Too bad you won't be able to play a, an actually decent game. Yeah, right. Damn. That's a, that's about all I got for this. I just wanted to bring it up because it's just so strange. Uh, there are currently 167 titles out on Stadia. That's ridiculous. Uh, which is surprising. Yeah, to be I thought it'd be there's less. Not, there isn't a ton of bad game necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got some Assassin's Creed. Yep. Cyberpunk. Okay, well, okay, you got one stinker. <laughs> Cyberpunk there. Uh, you got Doom 64, Doom Eternal, uh, and Doom 2016, Disco Elysium. Uh, Hello Neighbor, okay, well, Hotline yeah. Miami 1 mm. and 2. Yeah, solid games right there. Uh, Immortal F Phoenix Rising, which I've heard really good things about. Mm -hmm. uh, just some other stuff. Risk of Rain 2, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that's solid. Uh, Super Hot, yeah. Uh, Steam World Dig 1 and 2. Nice. Anyway. I just was curious. I was like thinking, thinking to myself, how many games are actually available for this fucking, you know, setup? Right. Mine is Minecraft. Uh, I'd have to look again. I'd be surprised if it wasn't it's fucking everywhere. It's on pregnancy tests. It's so wild. Like they will put it on anything. Microsoft. Nope. Oh damn! Look at that. Seems like. It makes sense for it to be there, but... Yeah. Oh, well. Hey. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, honestly. You know what else I don't care about, Cal? What's Val that? Valve losing the Steam Controller patent lawsuit, owing $4 million. No, Yeah. I mean, the, the infringement was not only real, but willful. It's true. Look at that. What did you think? You never got a Steam Controller, did you? Uh no, I didn't. Me neither. I thought they I thought they looked kind of cheesy. So I, didn't like I was the, just like I didn't like the pad. I thought it looked yeah. bad. It looked unwield unwieldy. Like I just without sticks there, it just didn't seem to make sense to me. Yeah, thank you. Just like nah, doesn't look good. It sounded like it wasn't bad, but yeah, I know people that liked it. I don't know. I didn't like the weight. I got to hold one once, and I thought the weight was trash. Not a fan. Yeah. But, uh... So, what, what really happened with this, though? So, uh, they... Uh, Scuff uh, and Ironberg Inventions were awarded $4 million in damages. Oof. Uh, it's, this has been four years in the making in a Washington court. Gosh. Uh, so Scuff holds 105 patents for its designs, including uh, trigger and backpedal mechanisms. And that's what the case was actually about. As far as the rear side control surface. Uh, and then saying, well, from Scuff's point of view, the valve is evil. <laughs> Thank you. My God. Perfect. Um, but yeah, uh, it talks about how Sony and Microsoft worked with with uh, Scuff to get the like signature back paddles and trigger extenders done. Like they went through the proper process. Valve just didn't. 
and it bit him in yeah. the ass. Uh, so it wasn't, and that right there uh, is really a killer is in terms of copyright and court in court proceedings and all that is that is knowing knowingly doing it anyway yeah right? exactly that was that's what killed him and you know it, maybe they were trying to make the case no it's it's not the same it's not infringing it's totally a different thing nah if it were me and I saw 105 patents on designs. Uh, I would want to maybe just double check all 105 of those. Yeah, you know? right. I don't know. Send an intern. I'm just kidding, like... <laughs> have a have a whole team of interns <laughs> sit down and just you know have a little brain think. Um, did brain I ever... brain think. Quick aside. Brainstorm. Did I, ever, did I ever tell you what the the first thing I did as an intern at Rooster Teeth was? I had no. To, I had to test shock collars. Oh, nice. We're working on a bit for on the spot, so I just had the other intern holding the shock collars, and I'd be like, all right, can you feel this? And I would just crank it. <laughs> he just hold them in the palms of his hands. That sounds like fun. Oh, dude, it that was Sounds like hilarious. a good first assignment. He, he had messaged me just a little bit ago. He was like, hey, you remember, this was uh, about three years to the day that we started the internship. You remember the first thing we did? I'm like, oh my god, of course. I got, I got to torture this poor person that I met that day. It, I don't know if it was a psychological experiment or what, but they were like, all right, let's see if the skinny one uh, shocks the tall one or not. See who asserts their dominance. I'm like, all right, now put your mouth on this curb. Here's the trust exercise. Yeah. God. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. This is totally on Valve. Not that it matters to them, like $4 million. Come on. They'll just have to make Left 4 Dead 3 now. Fuck. Like, they'll just have to have indie developers pay, get paid even less for their game being on their platform. Sorry, we can't afford... We got fined. For, we got. We we were told to pay four million dollars in damages. We don't know where to get that money. Where can we find it's, four million dollars? Are your profits for me? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Basically, though. Oh my gosh. Well, that that's a pretty valve move right now that other than making uh project alex I haven't been doing too much other than you know just maintaining steam yeah which and i don't mean like momentum i mean just like the actual platform <laughs> yeah i, I completely agree <laughs> i think they're I, I feel like they're gonna do vr with more of their shit i can oh, you know 100%. what percent we're not gonna get a left for dead 3 we're gonna get left for dead vr okay but what if it's like super interactive like alex was would that would you be down? Be kind of down, yeah. Honestly, just like oh fuck. I mean, <laughs> you the, know? the only difference from one to two was like better melee weapons. That's it. Yeah, and it yeah. was so good. It just still and just adrenaline. Uh, and adrenaline. Thank you. Still have me out there just playing as much as I possibly can. So I that let's hop on that more. Oh my god, dude! We should stream that sometime. I've had some I've had some problems going on with the the copy I have of it, so I, I don't know. I I need to just do a full uninstall and then reinstall. Mm -hmm. I just gotta install it. Yeah. Uh, you, um, you know what? That's uh, those are the moves that Valve made, but I feel like Sony's making some pretty solid moves right now. Yeah. Uh, purchasing a stake in from software owner Kado Kadokawa corporation i think that's a very good idea it's only 1.9 percent ownership but still that's still a lot of money that is so much money it's it's crazy the amount of money that just like is out there yep it that's one thing that really is to kind of circle back for a sec to the gamestop thing there is so much money just flying around everywhere just everywhere. conceptually speaking 
Think about it's it like it's this. all just like there's money flowing everywhere. It's crazy. Everywhere. All the time. It is nuts. So yeah, I mean, fuck. Sony just acquired Crunchyroll for one point two billion dollars, which is insane to think about. One point two billion dollars. I think that's really smart of them. Uh, I am super interested to see how this console generation is going to go with Xbox if they're going to break into Japan at all because they still haven't Th- their I products think... get outsold 2 to 1 by PlayStation and now fucking Nintendo yeah Cause I, I think Go ahead. clearly they have an uphill climb oh, very much so the, fr- the hard thing is with I think I would say that Nintendo's plan right now, obviously, is not to make the most groundbreaking fucking visual games. They're just like, we're going to make games that people want to play that like that look fun and put them on the Switch. And everyone else is going to have a PS5 already, so we don't have to worry about competing with them. Or com- Who are they even competing with? They just put out their niche little games on the Switch, but because everyone has one, sometimes two, and a household, <laughs> like... Just crushing it. It's so strange. And then you have Xbox and PlayStation, fortunately, going back and forth together, pushing games and technology forward. Nintendo just kind of hangs out and uses the same uh, online service they've been using since the GameCube. Yeah. This is true. Thank you for coming Um, to my TED Talk. But yes, to the article. I do want to mention real quick... uh, I have a feeling Elden Ring will be out sooner than December 31st, 2098. <laughs> I don't know. Call me crazy. Yeah, I'm with you. I can uh, see it. But uh, that is what's coming up from, from software. So I have a feeling once that comes out, that'll be a decent, you know, oh. decent amount of money that Sony just makes oh, yeah. off of 1.93%. Yep. Man. Just think about uh, how, like, how this will affect if they do more console exclusives like Bloodborne. Because boy, oh boy, I know a lot of people, a lot of Souls fans would consider that the best game of the series, which is crazy to think about. I love the art style the most. That's for sure. Big fan. For Bloodborne. I'm sorry. Did you say Bloodborne? Yeah. Yeah, it's too good. Yeah. It it's good. <laughs> How are you at Bloodborne? I fucking suck at Bloodborne. Huh? But How about them werewolves, I, am I right? Oh my <laughs> god. They they can fuck right off. <laughs> my character is still pretty squishy though. So once I once I beef him up a little bit, it'll be alright. Yeah. But uh Yeah. Uh I think this is gonna be this is a move you could almost kind of expect from Sony in the first place with the success of the exclusives that uh, From Software has put on. Oh my gosh, yes. uh, Including Dark Souls, including Bloodborne. Demon Souls now. You know. Which is, yeah. De- exactly. They clean up uh, Demon Souls, release it on the PS5, people are loving it. And I'm like, wow, that's all it fucking took was just make it a little smoother. I'm a little surprised they didn't... Uh, try to make a play to just take from software from the Katakawa corporation. I'm surprised uh, too, honestly. But Katakawa probably negotiated it down to 1.9%. you know what, you can't take from software from us, but we will grant you a 1.93% ownership stake Wow! in this company. Yeah. Dude, such a smart move on PlayStation regardless. From, I just love that From Software is putting out some of the best like RPGs right now. Consistently putting out fantastic RPGs. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how Elden Ring plays out. Oh, man. Uh, oh yeah. I know that, that there's quite a few people. Uh, I assume Admiral. Admiral <clears throat> I assume Admiral Akbar is uh, frothing at the mouth for it. Oh, he's ready. He is, like, just going to calculate and destroy that game. Oh, man. 
Speaking he won't of, even see. He won't even see the graphics. He'll all he'll see is code. Exactly. And That's exactly. This is the move. It's like the uh the code stuff in the Matrix that's just running down the front of the screen. That's all he sees. <laughs> I don't even see the code anymore. They're right there, hot blonde. Over there, nice brunette. Yeah. Ooh, great ass on that. You know, whatever. Yeah, doesn't even need it. You know, here's the thing. There's some things, some people that uh, Netflix needs... And then there's some people that Netflix doesn't need. And apparently they don't need to work with Nintendo. Because Nintendo was going to do TV show adaptations for Star Fox and The Legend of Zelda, but they were leaked, so the company just canceled the projects. I think this is great. I never... I thought you were going to say the, the leaker. Is... <laughs> they canceled the leaker. Netflix needs to get rid of this uh, leaking guy. It's just the God, CEO. Dang. <laughs> He's like, I just want to watch a little bit. That. That's wild, man. Although, I'll be honest, I don't want this. I don't want... I never want Nintendo stuff to be put into movies or TV shows. Just after... I know that Super Mario Bros. was a different time, but just never again. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it alone. I mean, you can't perfect on perfection Where do you go from there? it already was. Yeah. We were talking about John Legismo earlier. Like... <laughs> Oh, what gizmo? <laughs> Giz- God damn it. Uh, uh. John the gizmo guy. <laughs> the one. John the gizmo. <laughs> Johnny the gizmo. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You have spaghetti on your overalls. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Luigi. Yo, did you watch that video Wheels posted in the Discord of... Uh... The Legend of Zelda animated series, but they put Beavis in instead of Link. Oh no! They no, just put his voiceover the whole time. Well, we'll finish the. Well, after we finish with the podcast, everyone, we'll just show that for everyone to see in the stream. Fair enough. All right, yeah. dude. Uh, what do you think of this? Did you want this? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind something well done. You know, uh, but here's my my thing is I don't think I would want a live action any of this. No, no. Uh, I, I'd be all right with like a 3D animation sort of thing for Star Fox. Uh, yeah. Legend of Zelda, though. I want 2D, baby. I want an anime yeah. for sure of oh. the Legend of Zelda. Please. Uh, just, I think that would be. That'd be so good. It'd be cool to see. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though... I've already seen Princess Mononoke, so I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, like... Uh, I would want it to be more... Um, more what? Well, saying it like this sounds dumb. But uh, episodic, mm-hmm. more so. Mm, uh, where each... You. Where each one is its own thing, and I'm trying to think of uh, do you mean it's an A word for um, an anthology? A collection, yes, more like an anthology Dude. of like little vignette moments of Link in like, different games: Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, the OG, fucking Breath of the Wild. Just experiences with characters, yes, you know, and how he interacts with them. Tingle, put them in, yeah why not right like i think something like that is totally reasonable put team on smash you cowards but yeah (laughs) i think that would be so much better than like an episodic series yeah i i i think uh an anthology would be would make sense for zelda uh because with zelda games it's more about the journey exactly Uh, whereas with um star fox you're on rails Mm -hmm. and they allude to plenty of things behind the scenes but you you don't really get any like downtime there you're always just on a mission right sir yes sir so why not explore the background of the characters in star fox a little bit more like Mm -hmm. why why does wolf hate fox you know that i mean 
you get a little bit a taste of it, but I want like more depth to it, I guess. Exactly. I feel like there's more to flesh out with Star Fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can flesh out more with Zelda, um, but in a different way. Yeah. I just think that the way you would want to approach it is totally different. And that's why I think that it'd be cool to have. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, plus, uh, I mean, they even bring it up in the article that uh, it's the time is ripe. Yeah, it really with, is. Uh, Super no- with Super Nintendo World, uh, even though the grand opening is delayed, it's, uh, it's done. It's open. It's ready. They, yeah, they did. They did a run. I saw phone footage of going into it. My guy, it looks so dope. I want to go so damn bad. Like, if I was like ten years old and I got to go to Super Nintendo World, I would lose my fucking mind. I'd be like all those Disney kids going to Disney World and like screaming and crying and shit. That would have been me, but with Super Nintendo World. Uh, is there like a Pokemon Park in Super Nintendo World? So far, it's only Mario. They haven't done any Legend of Zelda. They haven't done any Pokemon, but there are expanding. There is a Pokemon uh, theme park in Japan, I believe. I don't know if it's still open, actually. Oh my god, it's so cool. Yeah. Poke uh, Park. Oh, the abandoned Japanese Pokemon theme park. It looked cool. Rip. Because that's what, it, uh, as a child, if it were me, that'd be what I'd want to go see. I would lose my fucking mind. I remember learning how to play Pokemon. And I'm like, dude, I don't know where any of the balls are. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I didn't talk to any characters because I didn't want to waste my time. So right. I was talking to my friends at school, and they're like, you got to go to the Mart. I'm like, what Mart? And they're like, it's just called Mart. Oh, my God. Morty. 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 Uh, speaking of Nintendo moves, though, how about this? All right, you're a Melee fan. You're like a main, main Melee fanatic, right? You're super good at it. Spend a lot of time playing it. Oh, my God. I, I play it literally every second of every day. I'm playing it right now, actually. Yeah, he's not even doing this podcast. Uh, Leffen just won't play him because he's scared. Uh, <laughs> Leffen, play me, you coward. Someone finally beat... Someone hit every name in the Melee credits. 190 total shots needed to do this. Took 20 years to accomplish. I mean, that was one of the best parts of Melee, was finishing it and just hanging out and shooting the credits. I'm like, if I'm going to watch yeah. credits, this is what I want to do. Such a good idea. Of course, it's this person is holding the thing like this. Like like a, like a doobie. Yelp. Yelp. They know what they're up to. They know what they need to do. I'm going to mute it. Oh my gosh. He gets it. Gosh. Uh, instead, it takes so long. But, like, why? Instead, uses it using a picking motion to hit every name as quickly as possible. Uh, that is crazy. The precision, it, dude. It's pretty wild, it's, honestly. It's so crazy. Oh, man. It's beautiful. What a great game. GameCube absolutely slept on. I'll say it. One of the best Nintendo consoles just kind of shuffled under the rug. You know, I'll just say it. Uh, you know, this is great and all that it's finally recorded, but... Um, You've done it already, I'm sure, right? I, I, I was doing this as a child, you know. <laughs> it's no big deal. 190? Okay. Where's the 191st? Yeah, okay, there's right. a secret one that you don't, you didn't actually get. Okay, that's on you. Um, um so anyway, yeah, I did it first. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I did not do it first. It's still impressive. It's incredibly impressive to do it at all. Oh my God. I mean, got fucking some hot takes in the chat. Dreamcast pad is the best pad. Yeah, my favorite controller is the one with the giant hole in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa there, Chief. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh. I like the one that also serves as a uh, a pistol <laughs> <Jeez>. whip. <laughs> uh, the Duke. The Duke. Just what? I figured as much, Fee. I figured as much. The I was uh, on a Twitch stream earlier today, and we were talking about controllers. And like, how perfect was the Duke controller, though? Mm-hmm. PS5 is a beautiful controller. But you know what else is beautiful, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> the vampire lady in Resident Evil. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> lady Dimiscu. Dimitriscu. Dimitriscu. Oh I love that everyone was trying to predict how tall she was, and Capcom was like, nah, she's nine foot We will six. tell you. She's nine foot six inches. Remember that. <laughs> it's like, That's including her hat, though, which is like wow. a big fucking tall hat. It is a pretty tall hat. And her heels. <laughs> so if she, what about if we take away the heels, though? I mean, is she wearing still... platform heels? Is that where the extra six inches comes from? No, it comes. Mm. That comes from me. <laughs> oh my god, can't relate. <laughs> Only uh, two. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the I two. hate my. <laughs> that was such a shitty joke. It was. It was so dumb. Okay, so she is. She'd peek over an ostrich, which is nine feet tall. She'd be taller than some elephants. The average African elephant can be between eight point two feet tall to thirteen feet tall. Tickle the chin of a Kodiak bear standing on a high, on its hind legs. A male Kodiak can be more than 10 feet tall. That's beautiful. So May 7th. Uh, can't wait, man. Step on me, the game. <laughs> All right, do you want to do rock, paper, scissors, and we'll determine who, who gets plays Resident Evil Village? All right, let's do it right now. Are we doing one, two, three? Shoot, or are we just doing one, no, two, three? No, fuck the shoot. It's one, one two, two, three, three. like All right. that. All right, okay? perfect. Ready? All right, I'm going paper. <laughs> one, two, three. I, I did scissors. Damn it, you won. You lucky bastard. Damn, I just get stepped on off stream. That's okay. <laughs> Tell me please, all... please step on me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a lot about my personal life right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game looks legitimately fun though. Like I'm genuinely super excited. I like this whole first person horror that Resident Evil's moved to. I think it's a great yes. idea. I also like the idea of it not necessarily being exclusively about zombies, to be honest. Agreed. Let's just fight what why limit yourself when you can just have fun with nine foot like, tall vampires? A story. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> oh my, it's, yeah, exactly. Resident Evil is growing beyond the. I mean, to be honest, it grew beyond uh, the stereotypical zombie thing. As soon as like Resident Evil three came yep, out, exactly. Uh, cause Nemesis was like this big mutinoid hunchback dipshit who just kept saying stars. So much right? smaller, so much smaller than her too. Like so much smaller yeah. than her. Like She's... I want to see her go. I would love to see like her just annihilate these other badass characters. Only by stepping and... on them, obviously. You know, uh, Bayonetta in Sm Smash has. She's actually in Smash. I don't know if you know oh this. Oh my god! Yeah, she's the foot that comes down when uh, Bayonetta <laughs> Bayonetta down smashes. Beautiful. Are we ever gonna get Bayonetta three? Doubt. I, I doubt that as well. Well, um, I got a good question for you though. What the fuck have you been playing? A lot of video games. I have been playing Interesting. Um, Animal Crossing. Yes. Uh, the other day when the internet cut out and uh, I was... I wound up doing... Okay, so get this, right? Okay. So a week ago, I'm streaming mm -hmm. Animal Crossing and coffee. Yep, classic. About ten and a half minutes in, 
stream cuts off. Uh, I don't realize it. Oh, no. Because it still says on there live. Oh, my right? gosh. That's some bullshit. So I'm like, holy shit. Just chill. I got like five, five viewers, whatever. You're this like, hell yeah. Good. Solid. And not to mention, like, they were engage active and engaged in the chat. Yep. And they were curious about what I was doing. And I was like, this is perfect. Got two followers that day. Despite it only being ten minutes long, and uh, <laughs> that's some see that's some but, real that's some real following right there. We need to get that done with it. Like every ten minutes, two followers. Fuck yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Um, so I go on this big long tour of my island, trying to show off all the cities <laughs> and whatnot. Right? Yeah. Yep. No. Nope. Not happening. None of it. None of it's caught. We don't do that here. <laughs> Uh, everything cuts off and oh it's just over. So after that, though, I was like, okay, well, our internet is down. Yep. I have games on my computer that I can play. Yeah. So I decided to play Dishonored 2. Oh. And I got that started. Yes. How's that going? I mean, I, I didn't play too, too much. I got through, like, some of the introductory stuff. Nice. Nice. But, um, feels good so far. Good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to really play. Yeah. I still, whenever like, whenever I'm playing games, it's like this weird tick now where I'm just like, if I'm playing a game, I need to be streaming. Otherwise, I shouldn't be I, playing it. Why am I playing this game, then? What's the point? Yeah. What? Do you think I'm supposed to have fun? No. Um, but, uh, so yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of Overwatch. Um, I really did want to play Bloodborne on Sunday. Yeah. But I, when I made the, when I wrote the schedule, I totally forgot about the Super Bowl. So that didn't I, happen. I can't believe Super Bowl 55 never existed. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that wild that... It just didn't happen. I mean... Tom Brady they canceled it when Tom rings. Brady was, yeah. They they canceled it when uh, Tom Brady was found out to be a. Oh no! Stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. Yeah, see, I the, I definitely need to stop right there because I was about to say something oh, horrendous. I figured as much. It's actually the seventh ring wasn't even an actual Super Bowl ring. It was the ring he left on his son's neck. <laughs> it was the ring he left on his son's. Uh, Never mind. Uh, dude, so yeah, you've been playing uh, some Dishonored 2, eh? AC? Yeah. What else have you been playing? Uh, uh, what the fuck did I... Oh, P5R. Yeah. Uh, P5 Royal. Um, that's still chugging along. So good. I think... It is wild the way that that game just makes time pass. You because know? You, you feel like you're playing for like 20 minutes and then it's four hours later. That is not, that's exactly the time frame I was going to describe is like 20 minutes in game feels like four hours or four hours in real life feels like 20 minutes playing the game. It's so good though. It's just so damn good. Yeah, it really is. Um, like it's, it's got, it's getting me sucked back in when I didn't think that like, you know, normally with the replay of a game, mm -hmm. I want to wait like a good couple of years, yep. like five minimum uh but but i'm right back grinding yep back in it grinding baby away. yeah i feel that that's gonna be me soon with uh bravely default 2 coming out on the switch boy oh boy when's that come when is that coming out february, is that ever coming out february 26th it's close god dang i am beyond excited for that game holy shit my guy uh, speaking of RPGs, though, I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game on my phone again. Uh, some Crystal. Been playing uh, uh, the Pokemon Pinball Advanced. Some solid... Uh, shit, what was I going to say? Splatoon 2, Smash, Mario Kart, the staples. <laughs> this guy redeeming Dab Dads. Dad, dab, dads, dad, dabs. Oh, man. You ready to do some dabs? 
I'm ready to do some dabs. Spending them. Do some dabbing. How many we got? That's five right there. Five? We got five. All right, I'm not standing up. I'm too lazy. Woo, just cracked my neck good. All right, well. If you like what you saw in this episode of the uh, Game Scrubs podcast, make sure to drop a follow on uh, Twitch. If you really like it, drop a sub. Um, you know, if you're feeling really adventurous, you should check out our YouTube channel. Check out our Twitter, at Hogtide Productions. Shout out to Piggies a lot for roasting the shit out of wheels on Super Bowl Sunday. That was hilarious. 10 out of 10. Uh, you can follow me at Jake the Mayor. See me complain about uh, different movies and how, talk about how much I love uh, Avril Lavigne's lyrical genius. You can follow me on Insta, Twitter, Letterboxd, everything at Jake the Mayor. You can follow Cal at Humble Halfway. Cal, what do you like to tweet about? Uh, are pussy farts queefs or are they farts that come out of the butt and go up the, the vagina? Exactly. You Just <laughs> asking those questions. He's just asking questions. Thanks for tuning in. Mostly dick and fart jokes, for fuck's sake. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Gonna stop right... Meow. We love you all so much. Thanks for watching.